Hi guys. So, um, I wanted to hop on here really quick and do a little like video. I was going to do a YouTube video, but honestly, it's way too short for a YouTube video. I decided I was just going to end up doing it as like, um, uh, Instagram TV haul, as you can say. I had shared with you guys that I did add quite a few little records, um, to my collection in the past few months. I would say December, January, this is what I'm touching base on right now with the records. So January and December, these are the records that I got. There's a few more, but I feel like I already shared those um, back then. So these are just some that I haven't really shared yet that I did recently get. Um, I'm doing an IGTV because like I said, it's probably going to be under 10 minutes. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys what I got in my new record collection. I did get, I did get a lot of good feedback on my... Um, like little snippets of records of the days. I know I've been slacking on record of the day, you guys. I need to. I tried to do a record of the day yesterday, but it was copyrighted and taken down, which sucked ass. It's a really good, um, good one. Um, but I'm going to try to get on those for you guys again, um, as well as my horror stuff. I am going to be doing a box, uh, unboxing of Fright Crate whenever that comes. It takes a while to get here. Um, so let's hop into my records. So not too long ago... I went to Rhino. Hold on. Boy, stop fighting. My children, my dogs. Okay. I went to Rhino and um, I posted a while back. I don't know if you guys saw. I am on the hunt to collect in its entirety this collection of Motown anthologies. I saw this one at Rhino. I had to get it ASAP. Whenever I see one of these, I had to buy it like that because I want to complete my collection. This is actually Martha Reeves and the Vandels. Um, it is an anthology, a Motown anthology. I'm not 100% when these came out. They're pretty old. Um, but I want all of them. I do have like the Supremes. I do have Smokey Robinson. I do have Martha Reeves and the Vandels. I do have the Shirelles. Um, I have quite a few of these. It's really cool. So if you open this up, it looks like this. It does have like a little history booklet. You can see all of them come with that, which is really rad. I think I have a four tops one too, not sure. I want to say I do. I got to go through all of them, but I have quite a few of these. Um, I'm on the hunt for the Jackson 5 one, and I'm on the hunt too for the three that I need in my collection, like absolutely need right away, are Marvin Gaye, Jackson 5, and um, the Temptations, which are also the most expensive ones um, out of this collection, but I really want them. So yeah, this is my... I want every single one i want to say there is 12 anthologies that come in this collection they're all in really cool different colors i can do another video on my collection of these if you guys want so yeah this one i got at rhino and the it's used obviously they don't reprint these let me go ahead and put that there this i got as a gift i had this a long time ago but um i lost a lot of my records a while back um and it was heartbreaking but uh i got a lot of them back <laughs> um and this was one of them it was the reprint of brenton woods Ugum Bugum. there is one more reprint that i had as well i need to get that to collect both of them um i want to buy it asap but uh, my brother my 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 little brother i guess you can say little we're only 11 months apart <laughs> i'm 11 months older than each so he bought me this for Christmas and I was so happy because like I love this album. I love Brent Wood and I was so sad that, you know, I lost it um, and I got it back. So there's this guy. I got that for Christmas, which is great. Um, this I picked up for Mike, aka Video Shock Rocks. Um, if you guys are into like I can't even classify this type of music like beach, um, garage rock beachy garage rock like fun 60s vibe music i guess you can say uh, that's a lot but that's what i would classify shannon and the clams as um i love shannon and the clams um i love the lead singer uh, her name is like shannon oh my god what's her name it's shannon something but she did a um 
a solo project too not too long ago and i wanted on album is such good like solo stuff i fucking love it um yeah her she's great this is shannon and the clams this is uh dreams in the rat house my favorite track on this is uzma if you guys like i said want to find out what garage rock beachy 60s vibe music is i would say give them a shot and i would say give this specific album a shot i love a lot of their stuff i love all their albums but this album just for some reason just it's good this one here um another one i recently acquired um was this i have had my eye on this album for since it dropped and the rolling stones posted it on their insta i am a big rolling stones fan obvi um i am fucking pissed because i was supposed to see them and their concerts got canceled so the first time i was gonna see them v couldn't get the time off work so that was a bummer right we were gonna get the tickets and everything second time COVID canceled and i will see mick jagger before he passes away speaking it out into existence not saying Mick Jagger is gonna pass away soon he's just really fucking old so who knows when he's gonna perform and how long or for how many concerts and I'm going to see him at the Rose Bowl when they reschedule that concert so I got honk I love the Rolling Stones and I wanted this album it's their newest release of honk um it is like um compilation the rolling stones are one band i had told my husband a while back they're one of those bands that if i was gonna get a record uh i have this one i have one more i think i have two more rolling stones records but i don't want to buy them single because that's one of those bands where i want this massive um box set probably like i've seen one that's like 300 dollars. like i would spend that much money on a massive box set of the rolling stones like in their material i'm talking like studio sessions and stuff like that i want like one of those mega ass box sets that's like a lot of money but they are one of those people that i would spend money on to have a big box set because i love all their music and i just want one massive box set the only other the only other like musician i can say that i would invest in a giant ass box set too would be prince i'm waiting to get a huge prince box set i'm waiting for them to release it they've been releasing a lot of uh, his vinyl again which is great but i've been kind of holding off i'll stick to my prince and the revolution old record that i had i found at like a flea market um until i get the perfect box set so yeah this is honk um it has like start me up brown sugar miss you tumbling dice um all their good stuff beast of burden you know what i mean and the cool thing about this record is it is blue um it was actually kind of clearanced at target for like 20 something bucks and normally it's like 36 or something like that at target um so i was pretty stoked see it's blue super cool i was pretty stoked when i had seen it because i was gonna pick it up anyways eventually um so when i had seen it was clear and so i was like well selena it's fate you gotta get that shit now um and it is what it is so we got hunk the next one i'm really really excited about i have shared with you guys a lot that i am a huge Stax fan um Stax records is like a tennessee um record company they have a lot of soul music on their um label a lot of soul funk music a lot of you know older stuff um i am a huge fan of soul music i've said it over and over and over again it is probably my heart and soul as far as music goes um so i got this it was a 60th anniversary release of carla thomas um such a good album in its entirety it is really good i had seen this at rhino and i snapped it up so quick it was the last one they had she's actually on the um soundtrack to baby driver if you guys have seen baby driver i've seen it not my favorite movie but the soundtrack to that movie is my favorite soundtrack of all time i love that soundtrack they have so much good music and i want the actual soundtrack not the score but the soundtrack to baby driver this is really expensive which is totally um understandable because it's so good it reminds me of like the forest gum soundtrack like it's that good you know it's just a plain black lp my favorite one on here is baby or b-a-b-y literally it's spelled that way the name of the song is spelled b 
B-A-B-Y. If you can see it, that's what it is. It's weird. Um, such a good song is on Baby Driver. Give that one a listen. Love Carla Thomas. Very soul girls, 60 vibes. Um, this album's really good. That's the next one in my collection. This is running a little bit longer than I thought, you guys. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, this one I picked up recently too. It is the first Ramones album in my collection. <laughs> um, it is the Ramones End of the Century. There was a few albums that, you know, I was looking into getting. Um, but I had specifically got this record because there is a song on there. Um, there's a lot of songs I like on here, but there's a cover of the Ronettes, Baby I Love You. And... It is such a good cover. I love that song so much. It's the first song on A side, I believe. Um, and this is produced by Phil Spector. Okay, which is freaking rad. I love Phil Spector, even though he's fucking insane. Um, and all his wigs. But he did create the wall of sound, and I am eternally grateful in his debt for that. Um, so I got it. Um, listen to that cover. It's Baby I Love You. It's a Raw Nets cover by the Ramones and it's really good. So give that a shot. And this is another one. So Mike had this one, that one I got from Mike as well. And this one I had seen in post and it's something different that I wanted. So that I seen it, I was like, you know what I wanted? It's a very textured feel on this vinyl. It's weird. I've never had a vinyl that felt like this before. Um, it's the mummies. <laughs> I love the mummies. Um, they remind me of like, okay, so there's this group a long time ago I stumbled across on YouTube. They're called the Trash Women. I believe they did covers of like the Trash Men. I'm not too sure. Um, and I loved that. And I stumbled onto that a while back and they actually played Burger Boogaloo the same year they did. Um, and I didn't know I would have tried to go. <laughs> uh, it was a really, really good show. I'd seen it on YouTube, but um, when I stumbled across that, I had stumbled across the mummies. Uh, Why? Wow, I'm talking like I was a teenager probably at this time. Um, and the mummies are so cool. They literally dress like mummies. And this is punky garage rock, I guess you can say. It's kind of has a trashy sound. It's the only way I can explain. They're all persona. Everything's good. It's fun music. Really cool to throw on when you're cleaning. Um, and I just love the concept of garage rock mummies so um pretty cool good album um and i just love it all the way it looks sounds good something you can put on when you're cleaning you need variety in your record collection so that's the last one this is a tell star records release in hoboken new jersey every time i think of hoboken i think of the cake boss now this one is so rad. Actually, I'm gonna save that for the last one. <laughs> I found this clearance at Barnes and Noble. So Barnes and Noble had this massive sale. It was like a bunch of records and they were all 50% off. So obviously we and I hit that up um, and we picked up a few records from there. Um, but in specifics, I got this record um from there about um two three weeks ago um it's brainwashed it is george harrison um george harrison is my favorite beetle i switch off and for i off i love paul mccartney i love george harrison i love them both but i think george harrison is my favorite beetle <laughs> musically and aesthetically just everything i love george harrison um so this is george harrison um, it's pretty good. Uh, Brainwash is... Do not listen to it when you're sad. <laughs> Stuck Inside a Cloud is one of those songs that, like, if I'm, like, in a feels, at, at, like, even a little bit of a feels, if I hear that song, I'll probably tear up. It's fucking sad, but it's so good. Um, yeah, Brainwash, Joe Harrison. Okay, so this one, right, you guys? I found this at Barnes & Noble, and I had to get it. It was not clearance, it was full price, but uh, it was a $30 record. And you know what? 
at the time I was like, shit, what? Cause you know, normally at my records, I spend 30, 30, $40 when I really, really want something. And it's like, a, okay, it's an expensive record, right? But normally I spend anywhere from 20 to $25 on a record, right? I seen this and I was like, oh, it was like 35 something. Um, and I couldn't leave Barnes & Noble without it. It is a January release, so it just released this year in January, and I am a huge Talking Heads fan. I mean, huge. I love the Talking Heads. Um, I love David Byrne. We saw them at Coachella. He was a big reason why we went to Coachella that year. Um, probably one of the best people I've seen live in my whole entire life. Um, I hold that very dear. Uh, and I love the talking heads. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna need that. Um, it is made in Germany, so it's an import. And it is called, the name of this band is the talking heads. And what it is, is their live performances. Uh, it's a two LP set from 1980 to 81 on one side. And then it is, uh, 1977 to 79 on the other. What trips me out about this side of the record is... They're in a living room. <laughs> Imagine seeing the talking heads in a living room. I don't think people understand how crazy that would be, how lucky the people were in this party, whatever the fuck it was. And their minds are probably blown. Um, but yeah, their live record's super rad. Um, and I had to get it. It was a Rhino Records release this year. Um, and if you pull out the sleeves of the record, it's like the gift that keeps on giving the selfie. It's a bunch of still shots of them in those years. Please hold. I dropped my teeth. <laughs> um, do you see that? It's like a bunch of still shots. This is the one from 77. Um, you see like the young David Byrne there. Um, and it is really cool. So there's that, and then there's the other one, which is still shots too, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Like I said, this record was the gift that keeps on giving. It is a red record. I love colored vinyl. I think I'm just like a yuppie for records in general, but something about like, I know some people are like, mm, keep it basic, you know, vinyl is supposed to be black. It's like, no, it's fun. Uh, how fun is it to like pull out a vinyl and it's just pretty <laughs> red, love that. Um, so I had just seen it at Target today and I was like, I, I need this album. It is a Janet Jackson number ones. And I specifically need this album because it is so much nostalgia for me. It literally is, um, this number ones CD, but in a vinyl that my mom had. And I used to listen to this number ones by Janet Jackson CD my mom had religiously in elementary school and it just brought back all the nostalgic vibes and it is a red lp specifically at target and it is a limited edition and they have a shirt there too that's a janet jackson shirt so i told vidal you know what i want both so i'm probably gonna get it on monday <laughs> i'm spoiled you guys sorry but um I'm, I'm gonna get them both but yeah this is the last record i got Super cool, saved it for last. That is my records that I recently got haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna be doing some horror stuff soon. Um, I'm going to be doing, okay, so I got really good feedback on a post that I posted with my Richard Ramirez book. I have a ridiculous, and I mean ridiculous, true crime book collection. I thrift them, I buy them at Barnes and Nobles. I am a hoarder when it comes to true crime books. I have not even read half of them because I just, whenever I see them at like thrift stores, I buy them up. I just want them all, I, I love the collection. I am reading right now, um, Serial Killer Facts that I got from Barnes and Noble. And then after that, I am gonna read um, this book I just got. It's a comic style book on the Green River Killer, which is really rad, so I'm gonna, read that next um i want to do a haul if you guys want to see a haul of my crazy ass true crime serial killer collection of books i will totally do that i'm thinking about doing it and i do have a few books that i want to give away maybe i have um 
doubles or I've already read them and I don't really need them in my collection. So what I was thinking about doing is maybe doing a giveaway for some books um, and showing you guys maybe my top 10 because I have, I'm talking like 60, maybe more um books i can't go through all of them <laughs> but i can totally tell you guys my top 10 maybe i can even do a top 15 but i think top 10 would be good but let me know if you guys want me to do my i'll do my favorite books and my my serial killer collection or my true crime collection um yeah so let me know you guys i'm happy to do a little haul finally um i missed doing youtube um and i will be filming again shortly um hope you guys are doing good Hope everybody's safe and happy and making good choices. Bye.